Hello and welcome to the brand new video tutorial for CDA 3D Life. This tutorial series is all about light and it's focused for beginners. And I also hope that even professionals can find one or the other tip to follow along and grab it for their own projects. In this first episode, I want to show you a test that shows you clearly how light in 3D space works. Okay, this is an older test. It comes from the earlier days, but I found this test. It's still valid today and it shows you especially on the beginner level how things works and how light color and object color is really close connected together. Okay, so here is a simple scene with red, green, blue and yellow balls. Okay, and the entire scene is lit by just one point light and the point light is white. So now that all colors shows correctly into the scene. So now if we come up here and we will change from the white light to a green light, what do you think will happen? Well, let's find it out. And now we have a green light into scene. And as you can see that the red ball and the blue ball turns black. The green ball, it's remaining green, but it starts to clamping. And the yellow ball turns green as well. Let's choose another color. Let's choose blue. And the blue light is even more drastic. Okay, because red, green, and the yellow ball turns black and the blue remains blue. Let's choose a red light. The blue ball is black, the red remaining red, the green is a saturated or a bit more desaturated green and the yellow ball turns orange. So you can see that pure light colors change the object color drastically. I know today we have environment lights and HDRIs. Okay, so let's turn on the environment light. And as you can see, all the colors are here. The light is nice balanced. And in the environment light, we have the full spectrum of light color. Okay, and even if we bring in a blue light into the scene, we still have all the colors correct displayed because the environment light brings in the whole spectrum of light color and frequency that it's lit up the scene in a realistic way. Okay. But without an environment light, without an HGRI light, with just pure color it light, you can see the drastic changes. And that's because pure light in 3D space are mathematically correct calculations. Okay. And it shows you only that frequency. In this case, only the blue frequency. And this is because we have this drastic change. But as you already know, maybe is that we have environment lights today in all 3D applications and we can put an HDRI in our applications and the scene is lit up correctly. Sounds great, sounds very simple, sounds fast, but with only one HDRI, your scene is way far away to being lit up correctly. And in this tutorial series, I show you some tips and tricks how you can improve your lighting skills. In the next episode, we will looking at a scene and I want to show you how you can improve your lighting skills with a simple scene. So we will see in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you in the next episode. And as always, Please like, subscribe and comment and see you then. Thank you and bye.